Welcome back to Health Matters. I'm Dr. Mark Castellaw. Our first guest will talk about a new life-saving device called a Angiovac. Please join me in welcoming Baptist Medical Group cardiovascular and thoracic surgeon Dr. John Craig and D. Pritchett. Dr. Craig, D. appreciate y'all being here today. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Dr. Craig, tell me what this new life-saving device is called Angiovac. Well, I believe this Angiovac device has really revolutionized the care of patients who have uh, unwanted material within their blood vessels or in their heart. Uh, as the name would suggest, Angiovac is a device that uh, uses vacuum to suction out these, um, this unwanted material. Traditionally, these, uh, these you know, masses um, have to be taken out surgically. And so that involves incisions and quite a bit of post-operative recovery. Now you're saying masses, are you talking about blood clots or tumors or what? It could be a variety of things. The most common thing that we would treat would be a blood clot actually. Uh, tumors can sometimes be treated and uh, another common thing would be an infected mass of uh, protein called a vegetation. Now th you can access any part of the body with this device? Not completely. Uh, we mostly treat the veins, the heart, and then the large arteries that go to the lungs. So mostly what we consider right-sided structures. Uh, we are not treating anything on the arterial side of the circulation at this point. So another common thing that uh, a lot of people are familiar with are like pulmonary emboli, blood clots to the lungs. Is that something that you can address as well? Exactly. So uh, two things about pulmonary emboli. We like to first prevent them. Uh, so some pa patients will actually have clots that are in their heart in transit uh, to the lungs. Uh, some are actually the clots in the original veins themselves. And then some are actually out in the lungs, what we call the pulmonary embolus. So we do have access to all of these th with this technology. Now with this procedure, does it require making an, an incision like a standard operation or is this something that's done through just a vein and a catheter or what? Good question. That's really, I think, the, the a uh, big advantage of this technology is instead of having open heart surgery, uh, many patients can get this done through two small incisions that are usually less than half an inch. So very, very easy to get over from a patient's pers perspective. Well, speaking of patients, we're, we're privileged to have Dee Pritchard here today. And your life was literally saved by this device, was it not? Yes, it was. Well, tell me a little bit about what was going on with Ms. Pritchard before the device was used. Well, Ms. Pritchett had a uh, mass in her right atrium, the uh, first chamber of her heart. It was about two centimeters, almost, uh, I'm sorry, it was almost two inches long, so it was about four centimeters. Uh, that's a pretty sizable uh, mass to have, so it was actually a blood clot. And our worry is that if that dislodged and traveled to her lungs, that could be rapidly fatal. So traditionally, we would have to do open heart surgery, uh, split the breastbone, go on the heart-lung machine, um, in some cases, not, not so much her. Sometimes we have to stop the heart. Um, but, uh, but A major operation. To say very big operation and considerable recovery time. Well, Dee, what was your first response when you were told you had this condition and there's a potential you'd have to have heart surgery? Um, I didn't realize it was as serious as it was until they started talking about cutting me open. And I was like, wow, okay, that... I, you know, all I could think about was this big scar, my ribs being cracked open and all of that. So it, it was quite traumatizing. It, it was traumatizing. Now, once Dr. Craig explained this procedure to you, there was a bit of relief that uh, you wouldn't have to go through surgery? It was. I thought of it as um, um, a vacuum cleaner for the body, I guess, <laughs> kind of like. Well, kind of a way to describe yeah. it, you know. That's what it kinda is. Kind of a vacuum cleaner. I know I use a vacuum cleaner at home, but anyway, that's another story. <laughs> But uh, once you had this uh, procedure done and the clot was removed, what was your recovery time? I went home the next day. Wow. So instead of looking at uh, uh, open surgery and in the hospital uh, seven to ten days, went home the next day. And since then, how's your recovery been? A couple of days I got the stitches out and I was back to normal. Big difference that would have been with the big uh, zipper yes, here. Definitely. Now, what about the uh, once? Uh, what are any downsides in using the uh, the new device? Uh, there are very few, actually. Um, the major downside would be the fact that uh, sometimes masses are too big, uh, so then you you're, the patient would not be a candidate, and you still have to do the traditional open surgery. Um, 
there um, uh, sometimes it's difficult to steer such a big device out into the lungs. So if it is, uh, the masses have gone out to the smaller branches, you can't actually use it. And then some are actually too hard or too, too chronic that you couldn't, couldn't remove them. Well, we're just so blessed uh, here at Baptist to have these new procedures, uh, minimally invasive procedures that we can go and, and literally save your life yes. and, and go home the next day. Yeah. I just think that's Thank incredible. You. It was. And I just really do appreciate you being here with us today, Dr. Thank Craig you. and Dee. We really do appreciate you Thank being you. here. Next on Health Matters, information about a potential cure for a leading cause of cancer death.